watching and never forget the power of Smile Healthy. Wake up with CBS 2 News this morning, now with Marcy Gonzalez. Tonight, a dire warning. Fears of a nuclear accident in Ukraine grow, and the consequences could be grave. Shelling of Europe's largest nuclear power plant sparks international concern of a catastrophe. CBS's Charlie Daggett is in Ukraine tonight. Former President Trump's lawyers are considering whether to release security footage of the FBI search of Mar-a-Lago, while former Vice President Mike Pence talks about potentially testifying before the January 6th committee. CBS's Katherine Herridge with the latest. Vanessa Bryant's heartbreaking testimony. Kobe Bryant's widow in court today talking about the emotional impact of learning first responders shared graphic photos of the crash that killed her husband and her daughter. CBS's Jonathan Bigliotti is at the courthouse. And a 12-year-old baseball player is out of the ICU, taking his first steps as his team pays tribute at the Little League World Series. CBS's Nikki Batiste speaks with his dad. He just keeps defeating the odds, and the only way to explain that is by miracles. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening, and thank you all for joining us. I'm Margaret Brennan, in for Nora. Tonight, the U.S. will, for the first time, give Ukraine Scan Eagle surveillance drones, mine resistant vehicles, and mine clearing equipment to mount a military counteroffensive against Russian forces. A senior defense official tells CBS News that the nearly $800 million package is to help Ukrainian forces regain territory as the war nears its sixth month. Shelling around a key nuclear plant in Ukraine is drawing international concern. The U.N. Secretary General called today for a demilitarized zone around Europe's largest nuclear power plant, which first came under Russian control back in March. We have a lot of news to get to tonight, and CBS's Charlie Daggett will start us off from Kyiv. Good evening to you, Charlie. Good evening to you, Margaret. That arms package can't come quickly enough for field commanders that we've spoken to. And what's already been supplied is making a huge difference on the battlefield. But the main focus today has been rising tensions over that nuclear power plant. Tonight, the threat of a nuclear disaster at Europe's largest nuclear power plant has just gone next level. Ukraine accusing Russia of preparing to stage a false flag incident today. Russia accusing Ukraine of trying to trigger an accident at the complex. Russian forces even ordered employees to stay home, according to Ukraine's state-run energy firm. The brinksmanship follows two weeks of intensive shelling, both sides trading artillery strikes and accusations. The UN Secretary General has called the attacks on the plant suicide. If we demilitarize, as we propose, the plant, the problem, will be solved. In an effort to show just how seriously Ukraine is taking the threat. Emergency workers dressed head to toe in protective suits in the city of Zaporizhia held nuclear disaster drills. Scrubbing down volunteers posing as radiation exposed victims. A stage managed performance for the cameras maybe, but the risks are real. 
Russian forces captured the plant in the early days of the war back in March, but fighting has escalated.